Welcome to the Intuit QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions V14 Advanced Pricing Demonstration. Advanced Pricing, which is an add-on subscription, includes the following things. It includes the ability to create sophisticated price rules, the ability to set quantity discounts, and the ability to see the last price that you sold an item for. Pricing rules allows users to create complex price rules that apply automatically. You can also create price rules based upon any combination of customers, items, classes, and sales rep. You can create start dates and stop dates, and prices update automatically with changes to cost or base price. You can apply multiple price rules at once or mark certain rules as exclusive and you can choose to change which rules apply at time of transaction. Let's take a look at price rules in QuickBooks Enterprise. First, we'll enable the price rules feature. Both price levels and price rules let you tell QuickBooks to automatically change an item's price under certain conditions. However, Price rules allow you to be more specific about when QuickBooks charges a different price for an item. Now we'll go to the price rule list. All of my existing price levels have been converted to price rules. To create a new price rule, We'll choose Price Rule at the bottom of the screen and New, and this is where you'll define the new price rule. Let's say I want to create a price rule for a holiday sale. After I've given it a name, I can click the Add button to start adding conditions. I can add conditions based upon items, customers, class, and sales reps. So first, let's say I want this to apply to certain items. I can choose between item name, item type, or preferred vendor. If I choose item name, I can pick the specific items that this price rule would apply to. If I choose item type, I can narrow it down to a specific item type. Or, if I chose Preferred Vendor, I can choose from a list of preferred vendors. I'm going to choose Item Type and Inventory Part. I can add additional conditions by clicking on the Add button. I can also have this condition apply to certain customers. I can choose from a list of custom fields that I've created. I can choose particular customer names. I can choose customer type. And I can choose job type. I want this condition to apply to certain customer types. I'll have this apply to all my retail customers. I'm going to choose to enter an expiration date of the 31st and I want this price to be 30 percent lower than my base price. And when I click the price overrides button QuickBooks will show me my cost, my base price, and then my calculated price rule price. If I wanted to override any of these prices I would do that in the custom price field. I can also mark this price rule as exclusive, and that way we will not combine with any other price rule. Now let's see the price rule on a transaction. We'll choose a sales order. We'll choose one of my retail customers. And we'll choose an inventory part. Now you'll notice in the rate column there's a special pricing icon. If I were to click on that pricing icon, I would be able to see that the holiday sale price rule is being applied. If I were to try to choose the wholesale discount, QuickBooks will tell me that I've selected 
conflicting rules. Because I've marked the holiday sale rule as exclusive, I could only choose one or the other. Quantity discounts allow you to choose a discount or price break for individual items. For example, QuickBooks can charge different prices when a customer buys, let's say, 10 to 19 items, 20 to 29 items, or 30 or more items. Let's take a look at quantity discounts in QuickBooks Enterprise. To set a quantity discount, you'll go to the items list. You'll choose the item that you want to set the quantity discount for and double click it. Then you'll click on the quantity discount button. Now for this item, I'll set a price break at 10 and then at 100. So at 10, I'll provide a 15% discount. But at 100, I'll provide a 25% discount. Then I'll click OK to save my quantity discount. Now when I place this item on a sales order, I'll choose my customer, and I'll choose the item. Now you notice that there's a pricing rule applied to this item. I'll remove the applied price rule. And if I enter a quantity of 10, I will see the 15% discount. If I choose a quantity of 100, I will see the 25% discount. I could apply a price rule on top of that discount or choose not to. The third thing included in the advanced pricing module is being able to see the last price sold. Let's take a look at last price sold in QuickBooks Enterprise. To see the last price sold, I'll bring up a sales order. I'll choose my customer. I'll choose an item. And on the Z icon, this is where I will see the last price that I sold this item for. That covers everything that's included in the advanced pricing module. For those of you that are interested in purchasing QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions with advanced pricing, please contact your QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions product specialist at the toll-free number provided below.